Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a flyback driver using a Jewel Thief circuit as shown here. You have 10 plus 10 turns on your Jewel Thief. Both cores are, one, are wound the same direction. 16 AWG wire. Use a transistor as shown with a diode to act as a freewheeling diode and a 47 ohm resistor connected to the base. You can use pretty much any flyback. You can use ones that have a rectifier or ones that give AC output. Basically what you want to do is get 10 plus 10 turns. This is not 10 plus 10, but you want 10 plus 10. There's 10 here and you want another 10 of uh, 16 gauge wire. This wire here is 14 gauge, but you want 16. And here I have a flyback transformer. This one does not have a rectifier in it. Some of them do have rectifiers and capacitors in them, but this one is uh, gonna produce AC output. And I've got my setup here, as you can see, similar to this. Uh, 10 uh, turns plus another 10 turns wound in the same direction. The center tap goes to the um, positive uh, of the battery. And uh, what we're going to do in this video is test this around 3.7 to 7.4 volts. And we're even going to go higher. We're going to go up to 12 volts. So let's try it at 3.7 volts and see what that does. Okay, I'm going to connect up the battery and see what we get. You can hear the oscillation of the transformer, and let's look at the output. Now remember, this is at 3.7 volts, which is pretty good. Here's lighting up a CFL. This is the CFL minus the inverter. During that run, this 47 ohm resistor got really hot. You can see the paper starting to char over there. It got burning hot, so I'm actually going to use a uh, different type of resistor, a ceramic resistor. Okay, I've just replaced the resistor with this 56 ohm resistor, 5 watts. Let's try it out again with uh, about 7 volts and see what that does. Here's my battery pack. Now we're going to try a 12 volt lead acid battery. Here it goes. Hey everyone, thanks for visiting this site and please come back soon.